that bucket is very large very large so each scoop is over a ton uh, yeah each scoops over a ton I figured I'm getting about eight ton in that thing or more eight or nine ton anyway and uh, yeah per load I can do quite a bit because at a thousand pounds per acre that's 16 acres in a shot mm, that's about yeah, it might be even more than that the damn thing is heavy I know it's heavy it's probably more than that anyway yeah I know it is I've got it set up for a thousand pound to the acre I'm actually putting a little bit more on which is good uh, the price of this stuff is reasonable for it's it's very reasonable I'd rather spread this stuff than uh, actual right out of the mushroom barn compost I will use right out of the mushroom barn compost as soon as I get rid of this stuff and I'm gonna start hauling compost in probably in a few weeks I'm not gonna do it before March just because I got things I gotta do I got lime to do I got a lot of lime to spread uh, and I want to get the lime home and then deal with the compost because uh, the lime uh, the compost this stuff here is way better product than the compost but uh, the compost is just so time-consuming to go and get it whereas I can get three loads of lime in a day uh, a long day three loads of lime in a long day uh, whereas I can only get two loads of compost in a long day uh, and I really need to get the lime home because a lot of this ground is too sour to really grow corn and soybeans effectively well, it, well you can grow it on there I'm not saying that you can't but the cation exchange capacity has gotten so low because of the pH being low and the microbiology being low it's just really a lot better to uh, concentrate on the lime versus the the uh, organic matter because without the lime well, I got, he got a little bit scared thought that I was gonna run right out the road well I don't do that um, yeah the cation exchange is very important CEC uh, very important if you're gonna be uh, you know growing row crops if you don't have a good CEC number uh, you're not going to hold the fertilizer that you put on and then you got to put it on in multiple passes unless you're planting green You're planting green You put it on and That green cover that you've got on there grabs the, the fertilizer that you put in and uh, It releases it during the reproductive stage of your row crop, which I found to be quite um, I was quite pleased with the way that worked out for me this past year and I just need to get my CEC numbers up to the point where I'm actually going to uh, you know I'm actually going to get the best result for what I my inputs you know in today's cost of inputs you got to get every ounce that you put out back um, and without a good CEC number you're not you're just not going to have that which means a lot of organic matter you have to have a good pH something around 6.8 or so 6.6 six to 7.2 that's where you want to be you're not going to achieve that in year one or year two or year three in year three you should be getting that uh, your organic matter climbs the as the organic matter and the life in your soil climbs the less you will need the um, the the lime. You're going to need. You know, you can reduce your lime uh, as long as you continue with cover crops and keep the life in the soil uh, in balance. Then uh, you will do very well with what you're uh, trying to achieve. And I I think that I'm a step ahead of a lot of guys that are going into the the regenerative ag pro, you know, process because of the years and years of, of hay. I have good aggregation already. I have good uh, mycorrhizal fungi in the soil. I've got some life in the soil because of the root mass. Now when you kill off that hay, uh, you can have a major disaster like 
a major disaster if you're you know if your pHs aren't good you're not going to be able to sustain the life that's in the soil because your roots are then going to be um, severely uh, diminished you're not going to have all that root mass from the hay that you had in there <coughs> you're going to have your row crop and then your cover crop and if you're doing a cover crop like say wheat I'm going to use wheat as a cover it's it's holding the soil it's keeping that living root in the ground um, but after wheat a lot of guys in this area and around the country that's it they want to keep the soil bare and clean so no weeds come up so they're addicted to roundup and when they're addicted to the roundup then it's like well okay I got Roundup and I'm going to keep my field clean, but um, they're going to keep their field clean, but what's going to happen is their soil biology is going to diminish to the point where there's nothing really good living in the soil. Um, bad funguses taking over good funguses and uh, bad bacteria taking over good bacteria because the bad lives, bad lives in bad ground. Uh, and then before you know it, that becomes acidic because the good stuff isn't there to break down your calcium and release the nutrients that you want uh, in the soil. There's, it's just really diminished. So you have to keep that living root in the ground. I will be, if, if I take, when I take this wheat off, combine it, it is either going to have a uh, cover crop, multi-species cover put on, or it's going to have soybeans or corn put on. And then immediately after the row crop is taken off, there's going to be another cover put on. And yes, I am doing an experiment. I love to go crossways on a field to see what it does for me when I harvest. If it's going, because this is organic stuff, um, you know, it's not going to be like, oh my God, you're putting another 50 units. You're going to have 100 units of nitrogen. Well, that's not how this works. It it works it works differently than most people think it should, because the way it works is, oh my God. The way it works is it breaks down over time and if your pH isn't where it should be ideally it breaks down slower um, and it works with the biology in the soil so if the biology in the soil isn't happy uh, it's going to break down even slower so yeah you can put that on and this will enhance the biology but it's not ever going to, I mean you could get wheat to go down with this stuff if you really dumped it on at say a two ton rate and then came in with another 20 units of commercial fertilizer uh, nitrogen you would have a you'd have a problem there but we're not gonna have those problems we're not gonna have those problems because yeah it's not that much there and the biology in this soil is not where it needs to be I gotta talk to this neighbor over here. He, he's coming out in this field and doing donuts and shit. And I, I find that to be rather annoying. And I'm gonna have to find. Alright, so we had a failure. Failure? <coughs> We've had a failure. I don't know what the problem is. I'm pretty, pretty convinced it is a thermostat issue, whether they are stuck closed. They would have to be stuck. I don't know stuck open or stuck closed they they're over it's overheating this engine and I'm getting no heat up to the I'm getting no heat in the cab just driving me nuts so I'm gonna go ahead and this is the this is the thermostat housing so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that bad boy off of there hopefully hopefully oh man everything is getting so brittle uh, from oh, age huh Excessive heat. Well, there's a lot of heat, yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to wrap that. Oh god, they're just gonna break apart. The loom. Oh. No, the loom. Not aluminum. Uh anyway. Yeah, I'm just annoyed. I could have got finished today with what I was gonna do, but well, I'm gonna have to pop that off. I'm gonna need some uh, electrical tape. Yeah, I'll just electrical tape that. I, you know, you start messing with these things, and the loom gets old and brittle. But anyway, I gotta pull this off of here. I'm not even gonna take the. I'm not even gonna take the hose off. But we've got it draining. Is it? 
It's gonna. Can you see it? Yeah. I can hear it perfect. Can you hear it? No. Stuff's too expensive to be thrown away. That yellow crap is expensive. We drained it once, right? Twice now. Twice. We've run so much of that shit through here, and hopefully tomorrow they've got one of these things. Cause there's two. There's two water pumps on here. The the mystery pump is up here. Is it? Yeah. The mystery pump. It's not in the parts manual. Oh, we got to be able to collect that. How are we going to catch that? Do you know? I don't know. Anyway. Um, damn it. And I'll bet that thing there wants to be an asshole as well. Yeah, see? That won't be much. Now, get a, get a funnel. We're going to have to see if we can catch it somehow. Somehow, whatever stuff is like gonna run like piss. It's all brand new. That's my problem. Oh, gonna get any of it? We're we gonna get all of it. What are we gonna get? We're not gonna get any of it, are we? It's just empty. No, it's not empty. I think that's empty. All right, give me a wrench kit. Um, it's gonna be what is that? 13 mil, I think, or 10? No, nah, it's 13. That's a kit. It's like watching a monkey fuck a football most of the time around here. What happened to your 10 millimeter? It's right here. Huh? It's right here. I don't know, man. And 10's like a runoff. Huh? I said the 10 millimeters like a runoff. Well, why is it over there? I have it. I use taking off those lights. What light? Square lights. Oh. I wonder what the hell you're talking about. I can tell it's just going to be one of these days. Don't want to come on. You're a long one. That's right. Okay. Now, now you're rolling. See, so you're not sure if we videotaped anything? You didn't see the little red blinking light? <laughs> Alright, so if you ever drive in your 7530, I imagine any 6.8 liter one, um, and all of a sudden you have no heat in the cab. And all of a sudden, you got no. Your engine starts, uh, or not your, yeah, your engine starts overheating. I'm going to tell you what it is as soon as I can get this thing out of there. Um, got a little. Well, I think we got here, honey. Give me that. I'll break your knife. Like that. We know what it is. You know why we know what it is? It shattered. That Holy hell. Is the impeller to the water pump. That's the water pump. The whole shooting match right there. It just blew up. I am. Alright. Well, that kind of makes sense. Now 3D print one and then we can they stuff it you. back in there. Huh? The 3D print one and send it back in there. But it only goes up to 200 degrees. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Concentric. Yeah. All right. 
Well, that's the whole ball of wax. Right there. I don't think it was well broken before. I think it probably is. Nah. I doubt it. I mean, unless something went through it somehow, but that don't make any sense. Uh, it's probably been broken and it started doing this. Yeah. And uh, eventually, yeah, eventually just let loose. All right. Well, here it is. This wasn't a terrible job. I mean, it had worse. Let's see what's in here. What kind of silicone sealant. So they must use that as an isolator because that's aluminum and steel. So they isolate that note to self. Now tomorrow's another day. Now look at the corrosion down at the bottom here. I see that. Yeah, that's not good. I wonder why I did that. So yeah, a lot of this stuff, they put it in there because that steel thing, that steel against aluminum housing, that's never a good thing. All right, well, that's it. I'm going to go tell Teresa what we got. And, uh, that's that. I got you, almost. I did shut it off now. It's still going. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the bearing, obviously. I'm pretty sure you can knock that out. Oh, well, it probably just spins off. It's not a matter of knocking it out. It's threaded. You just yeah. put a wrench on it and take it off. That's all they're going to do. You know, consider it rebuilt. No, I just wonder I do, what... I do feel a bit of the bearing grinding. Huh? I do feel a bit of the bearing grinding. Yeah, it was time. Well, there's a number on that. There is a number on that. Huh, I'm gonna have to get my glasses out and look at that number. I got a number. Huh? Ah, just glue it. Will JB weld it back together? R one two three three nine five stash JD. Huh. Well, let me uh, look that up online. I wonder, will it start? I don't know.